The government advisor who was behind the lockdown idea is exposed as a hypocrite and Nigel Farage is warned by the police for reporting on illegal migration. Hello everyone and welcome to today's vlog. Today is all about the state and establishment getting exposed. Um, we have a lot to talk about, so whether it's from uh, uh, the, the professor who was behind the lockdown idea uh, to the uh, Nigel Farage actually going to Dover to uh, talk about illegal migration and uh, the police told him off. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a bit because there's a lot to mention and I think I need to warm up before I get angry. Uh, so let's start with uh, Neil Ferguson. Yeah, so Neil Ferguson is, uh, was part of SAGE, this independent scientific body advising the government. Uh, he was the one pushing for the strong, strict lockdown measures. He actually wanted to go further, uh, even though Boris Johnson was reluctant at first, and uh, he pushed the government to do this. And um, now we've discovered, thanks to the Telegraph, uh, getting one of the best scoops of uh, the lockdown period, uh, he actually doesn't follow the rules himself. Yeah, so we have an exclusive from the Telegraph uh, talking about how Neil Ferguson has now resigned after breaking the lockdown rules to meet his married lover. Yeah, so Neil Ferguson has had to now uh, resign. This is last night on Tuesday night when he had to resign because he, he has been breaking the social distancing rules just to meet his married lover. So this guy was uh, leading the team that produced the computer model research that led to the national lockdown. Uh, he also claimed that without these measures, more than 500,000 people would die. Now, on at least two occasions, Antonio Stats, uh, I actually don't know how to pronounce that name, but uh, who is 38, traveled across London from her home in the south of the capital to spend time with this lovely government scientist. And I love how they've nicknamed him Professor Lockdown. She and her husband live together with their two children in a 1.9 million uh, pound home, uh, but uh, are understood to be in an open relationship, open marriage. Uh, she has told friends about her relationship with Professor Lockdown, <laughs> but does not believe that their actions to be hip <laughs> Wow. The fact that she doesn't think that they're being hypocrites is the, the best part of this story. There's one part of this story, which is his private life and her private life. And that's none of my business. You know, people can judge and, uh, you know, stupid thing anyway. But my issue is not really uh, with her. It's the hypocrisy of what they did. And uh, one rule for little people and another for the elite. Now, senior Tory MPs are lashing out. Uh, Sir Ian Duncan Smith said that scientists like him have told us that we should not be doing this. So surely in his case, it is a case of uh, we have been doing as he says, and he has been doing as he wants to. Uh, that way he's right. And even Charles Walker said that um, people will be desperately missing those that they love. And I totally understand if the separation becomes too much to pair at times. But again, at the same time, it's no excuse uh, for this person to do this. And uh, his lover has declined to comment. Who exactly is Neil Ferguson? Uh, because we've been told these are, it's the whole stage is an independent body and these are independent experts, right? Well, they're not really that uh, <laughs> impartial because we have an uh, update. Uh, there's an old tweet uh, from Neil Ferguson replying to Leila Moran, who was elected, this is back in 2017, as a new MP, as a new Remainer. And he said, great news. So happy to wake up to hear you won. Fingers crossed that last night means at least a softer Brexit. At least. Even his lover uh, sent this post uh, after the referendum in 2016, saying that we're looking for London-based young people who are unhappy with how the EU referendum turned out and might want to join an exciting stunt this Thursday lunchtime. Ooh. Now, thanks to this hypocrisy, the internet have been coming up with the best memes ever. We have <laughs> Neil Ferguson looking at Antonia and then you got the stay at home sign <laughs> judging him. <laughs> and the sun came up with the best headline. Professor Lockdown broke lockdown to get his trousers down. <laughs> Now, a lot of people have been complaining. One of them is Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk has been very busy these days. He's been uh, criticizing Bill Gates. He's been criticizing the, the, uh, the so-called independent experts. And uh, <laughs> so he's now going after Neil Ferguson. This is a, a tweet he sent uh, as a response to Neil Ferguson resigning. So when Neil Ferguson uh, was exposed, uh, Elon Musk said, what a tool. He also said something more should be done. This guy has caused massive strife. 
to the world with his absurdly fake science. Yeah, Elon Musk with all his flaws doesn't hold back, does he? <laughs> so, although I still am judging Elon Musk for naming his child something that I can't really pronounce. If you've seen on Twitter, it's, it makes absolutely no sense. But Julia Hartley Brewer also had uh, some interesting comments about Neil Ferguson. Because it's rank hypocrisy to advise rules which shatter people's lives, shatter people's businesses. People have lost their businesses. They've spent years building up. People have lost their jobs. People may lose their homes. People are facing being stuck miles away from family members, miles away from elderly relatives who may not make it through the pandemic, who may never get to touch, hold hands and see the smile of their grandchildren ever again. He advised those rules and we trusted and the government trusted that he believed those rules were necessary to save lives but those rules it turns out weren't for everyone those rules as we've seen again and again from the elites from the people who think they know better those rules were for the little people they weren't for people like Professor Neil Ferguson a lot of people talking about how we've uh, had enough of experts well I tell you what we've definitely had enough of this hypocritical expert so goodbye Professor Neil Ferguson. Yeah that's where we are now. Uh, let's talk about Nigel Farage and illegal migration. It's a big topic. We have a massive problem in this country with our borders and uh, but before I start I need to I'm tired of walking so I'm gonna actually get a bike uh, cycle around London sit somewhere and talk about this. I have absolutely no idea what's happening here. <laughs> I've been surrounded by birds. <laughs> I don't think I can even move because I don't want to scare them off because they might attack me. Hello. Right, so I'm absolutely shattered. So I've come home now. I need to sit down. I think I'm done with walking around for a while. Um, so Nigel Farage went to Dover to report on uh, the issue that we have with our borders because uh, we are becoming very, very vulnerable at our borders. Uh, there are a lot of illegal uh, migrants who are just coming in and uh, it's getting out of control now. Uh, so he made this video. It's Monday morning, I'm here in Dover, and that's because I'm not gonna let this story drop. Lots of press reports over the weekend suggesting I was quite wrong to have gone to East Sussex last week. This is a scandal, it's continuing. So I'm here, it's early morning in Dover, at relatively flat seas, as you can probably see, and just down there, Gazel, are now an ambulance, some border force cars, and about 20 people and that means that somewhere out there in the channel what's happening is that our border forces who are meant to protect our borders have picked up some legal migrants who will now be ferried into Dover so for us now it's just a waiting game and he made some good points and he went there it's not like he went to visit a group of people to spread anything or be at any risk uh, he was just there with his cameraman and that's it. So he tweeted this, lockdown lunacy. Two police officers just knocked on my door to advise me on essential travel. They had received a complaint that I had been to Dover to report on the illegal migrant scandal taking place. What a total waste of time and money. This is essential for me. This is essential travel. Um, there are a lot of journalists that are also going around and reporting on uh, various issues at the moment. Uh, but just because they have a pass, a key worker pass, and a piece of paper, uh, they are allowed. Uh, Nigel Farage doesn't have one, but it is just like semantics. It makes absolutely no sense. So this is stupid because we have to talk about this issue because it is getting out of hand. Uh, the border force are not really uh, doing the best that they can. And um, I don't think the Home Office are actually on top of this. We haven't heard anything from the Home Office on this issue. Uh, the mainstream media aren't talking about this. The mainstream media simply just mentioned uh, Nigel Farage being warned by the police. They didn't actually say what he was talking about exactly or if it's, a, if it's an important issue. So, it, yeah, So, but we have the alternative media, the new media, YouTube channels like this and others who are uh, raising awareness on this uh, specific topic. And I am going to be making more videos about the illegal migration into this country because it's not really... Uh, going well at this moment but in other news moving on from this uh, because as I said there's going to be a lot more to cover on this uh, I'm going to be interviewing some people about this as well um, Rory Stewart do you remember Rory Stewart he's uh, he was running to become the next London mayor 
against Sadiq Khan and Sean Bailey, the Tory uh, candidate. He, he had a weird campaign. He wanted to go stay with, at people's houses. He decided to drop out. I've decided after a lot of thought that I will not be running in the delayed and extended election to be mayor of London next year. Well, so there are some good things coming out of this lockdown. Rory's gone. Thank God for that. Uh, but there are also a lot of calls on Twitter for me to stand as a candidate for London mayor because my name is Maya and it will be M Maya Mayor. Mayor Maya. I've got him as... <laughs> yeah, so Maya for mayor is going to happen. Not really. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but maybe at some point. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Rory Stewart is going down, which is really good. So this is what we have for today. And uh, I want to say thank you to all of you for... Uh, spending your time watching these videos uh, it, it, it really means a lot to me and uh, thanks again for the members if you want to become a member and support uh, this channel and my work then check out the link in the description or just find the join button next to subscribe on the main channel and uh, or just go on your browser and type in uh, youtube.com slash maya2c slash join and then you can find the details over there and if you're new to the channel then obviously click subscribe and click on a bell next to it so you get notified I'm Maya TC. I'll see you guys in the next video.